in the previous lecture we have discussed that a single phase induction motor has torque once it's rotated but no torque at the starting that means a single phase induction motor is not a self starting device now you may find a bit confusion how or why this kind of things happen now to overcome this confusion a theory called double revolving field theory has been proposed now according to this theory whenever we are giving supply to the stator then the winding at the stator creates a alternating sinusoidal magnetic field now this particular field can be divided into or better to say represented into two fluxes which are of course revolving in nature and an explicit characteristics that is each has a value equal to half of the max value of the flux that means each of these two fluxes will be the exactly half value of the flux that has been created by the supply to the stator winding of this induction motor and next is each one is rotating in synchronous speed in opposite direction to each other so let me explain suppose this is a flux phi m that has been created by the supply to the stator winding now this phi m can be divided into two equal fluxes which is phi 1 and phi 2 phi 1 and phi 2 are rotating opposite to each other in synchronous speed so this is the synchronous speed ns so if we take phi 1 equal to phi 2 then that is equal to phi m by 2 so all the things that i have said through these assumptions is explained in this diagram clear now if we divide phi m into horizontal x axis and vertical y axis then we will get suppose this is phi 1 and this is a phi 2 that i have explained earlier which are equal in value and rotating in opposite direction to each other with a speed omega that you consider as a synchronous speed i am saying these things in order to give you the mathematical expression of the vectors that we will try to deduce through this pattern so this angle is omega t this angle is also omega t okay so what we are getting so if we get the x component that is equal to phi m by 2 cos omega t plus phi m by 2 cos omega t because this phi 1 and phi 2 is giving a horizontal x axis that is cos omega t component so you can consider this as phi 1 and this as phi 2 okay so now if we take the vertical component so what will be the vertical component it will be just like this phi m by 2 sin omega t and similarly for phi 2 it is phi m by 2 sin omega t see these are opposite to each other so if we write the y component then we will get phi m by 2 sin omega t minus phi m by 2 sin omega t so finally what we are getting for the x axis we are getting the total x axis component is equal to phi m cos omega t from this equation and for the total y axis component we are getting 0 because both of these values are cancelling each other now if we try to derive the resultant component 
suppose this is r which will be equal to root over x square plus y square what is the x value we are getting phi m by 2 cos omega t whole square plus 0 square so that is equal to phi m by 2 cos omega t so what is the inference we are drawing from here that is the opposite and equal two fields which are rotating in synchronous speed are nothing but an oscillatory field along x axis so what the resultant field it is oscillating here along this x axis because for the rotation for the entire thing for the entire field you need to have some sort of vertical axis but here the y component we are getting is zero so the resultant is along this x-axis that's why we are saying that this field that is created in single phase in induction motor is a pulsating kind of nature that's why initially we are getting zero torque no torque is generated but the when the motor starts rotating then the torque is generated that we have already explained uh, in the previous lecture